this is Samira Kazameni with Samira's Network. I'm so excited to be here today with you with such a wonderful group of people. I have my co-host with me and I have wonderful guests. We're going to have so much fun and um, truly one of the most social people on the social media that I know of. <laughs> I mean, it's not enough if I say that there are like social media every day, maybe seven times, right? <laughs> Facebook yeah. Live, radio yeah. show, TV yeah. show, maybe like every night in every event. So I'm so <laughs> excited to be here with everyone. And then I will give it so everyone can introduce themselves. Probably I'm not all the time on the social media. My name is Kamiar Tarigi, so I'm very happy that I can be co-hosting this group of beautiful people. And nothing else, let's just start. Thank you. And here I have, and they're part of my next um, Oscar viewing, so we're so excited. A wonderful team. Um, I could not even have pulled it without you, Carlos. Amazing. Very loyal, very loving. Thank you so much. You deserve really to be here again. And thank you. I appreciate that. My name is Carlos Sargen Aleman. And, you know, I've been part of uh, Samira's network for, well, actually known her for like almost 10 years now. And so I've been part of this network. The last event was so, so amazing that the next one that's coming up, I just can't even imagine. Everybody's already lining up. Last time, in case you don't know, we had to give money back because we didn't have enough seats. Sponsors were like, sponsors were like, we don't want to be part of it. And then last minute, they were mad because they couldn't be part of it. So please, you know, get ready. It's going to be a lot of fun. Carlos Sargent Aleman. You know what? I'm sorry. Yeah, I actually, I get, see, the event got me, I love you. The event got me so excited. Okay. So I was one of the performers last year. I did actually get to perform um, one of my favorite songs, Inner Child. You can find it on Apple Music, Instagram, you know, iTunes and all that. And it was one of the songs that, and actually one of the songs got an award. And right now it's playing all over the world on about 120 different radio wow. stations. And so, yeah, and thank you. And now I'm going to introduce you to one of my, my actual favorite people in the planet. And I'm not just saying that. I love her so much. And oh, you're so sweet. How, you, how we met and how you got involved it was so fun. And Mirna, your energy is phenomenal. I'm so excited you're here. Mm -hmm. Yes, see, that's what well, I'm saying. It well, first of all, I have to say I'm very shy. <laughs> so today is my first day on Facebook Live. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Sharing is caring. Uh, but I never do that. But today I'm going to do it for you guys because I love you guys. Right. But the way we met, I wanted to be part. I heard so many great things. I've always do the Oscars. People's Choice Awards, but there's nothing like the Oscars gala because either you're a celebrity, you're nominated, you're at the Oscars, okay? If not, I think it's better because you're treated like a star, no matter what. Samira's network, Samira's family, it is a family. And what she does, she makes me feel so great that I said, I, I came, I rushed to her house without knowing her. I walked <laughs> in, I go, I want a whole VIP table. And I brought, of course, Armando and uh, Lily Infante. I brought, of course, my producer, director, Jimmy Dukes. I got to give a shout out. I never do this, though. This is oh, new to yes, me. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> but, it was, it. so <laughs> but when I met them, we fell in love, Samira. I walked in her house, didn't we? Um, the minute I met her, in the first 30 minutes, I told her my whole entire life story. I took her to the side, yeah. and I said... That's so weird. I've never told anybody anything for the past three years. Why am I telling you? And then the event came and went, and I was like, she is my best friend, my soulmate from a different life. And, and truly, I, I have told you things I haven't told my best friends. I have no idea why. Really. And it was the thing is that we're kindred spirits, and we are made from the same material. And I think this is why we all get along. First time I met him. First time I met Carlos, I fell in love. Seriously, we fell in love. And I know we were, yeah, exactly, because in lives we travel as packs of wolves. Mm -hmm. That's what we are here. But for me, it's, of course, you forgot to say that he is in a TV series, Amazon Prime Sangre Negra. And he, Sangre Negra, Frank Pinnock, you guys are amazing. Frank Pinnock, I'm sorry. You know, I get so excited about her show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm also part of, you know, this big, 
big, I mean, hum, a highly award-winning event. Like, it's one of the big, the first events that it has uh, transitioned with Latino, black, white, every Italian, right? you know, you could think of, you know what I'm saying? An Anthony McKay, shout out, Frank Pinnock, Eric Roberts, you know, Eric Strada, and like everybody else that I'm forgetting to name, not forgetting, but it's so many Go names. Ahead, we love you. Right? And so, you know, Sangre Negra, you can watch it on Prime Amazon. Amazon Prime. Yeah. And so, and also in El Rey. And that's one of the big, big events. And Myrna has this big, humongous role in this, you know, with. I don't know why they put me as a, a corrupted congresswoman from East LA. I don't know why. Orale, orale, what happened? And you know why? I never auditioned for this. He got me in. He, he did. In? He got me in. And I got, of course, Roger Velasco, the first Mexican Power Ranger. Oh, right. yeah. Because yeah, they him. Yeah, so now yeah. two Velascos, like my mom and dad Velascos. Oh, and, yeah. uh, Mirna, your family is very, very well known in uh, Mexico, right? The world. The world. The world. Okay. Yeah, who was my parents? Um, okay, see, because I have to look. You know, her parents, her parents, for everybody that doesn't know, her mom is the Inia Maria, right? And she is an iconic role. Like, she actually took uh, one of the like the most humblest role, which is like a servant, somebody that doesn't have any education, and like that. And like, you have to mind you that this is acting because she was a highly educated individual. She was college educated, she was an actual professional dancer. And you know, and so what happened was just that that she was able to harness the power of the world laughter and so for me being a child watching my parents grow up from bad times to good times and have her do that right then her father which is Raul Velasco right he has launched some of the biggest it's like he was the first American Idol okay that's straight what it was for 20 years, the first Latino American Idol, and he has launched some of the biggest names like Vicente Fernandez. And like, I would keep going on, but these people are just iconic. And this is what came out of those two people. So you guys got to get ready to see what you're going to get. Wow, I can't beat that. <laughs> you're amazing. We're so honored you're here. And um, the, the connection that I also had with Alberto Franco was phenomenal. The minute we met on the red carpet, it was fire. I loved it, the energy, the, the excitement. And um, um, it's just such an honor you here. And um, he has had an experience who's, who's had his Oscar viewing before. Yes. So to come in to you know, collaborate this year, we're so excited. Um, his radio show is phenomenal. It's so fun. We've been on it about two weeks ago. We're going to come back again. We're inviting everybody back to your show. I'm inviting all my friends, my guests, everyone. <laughs> and then, of course, he has a makeup academy. All of us are have makeup today by Franco. Thank you. Dios mío. I got to say this in Spanish porque este viejo ron que tengo aquí a un lado es viene de los meros, meros picudos del mundo del show business en México. Hija de Raúl Velasco, no manches, una señorón, un señorón en el mundo del show business mexicano, un, es un pilar en el mundo del show business. Y su madre, una señorona en el mundo de la televisión, el cine. ¿Qué lo hizo esa mujer maravillosa? La India. La India María, la señora María Velasco. Y además que no se sabía nada porque obviamente... Era un secreto que tú eras la hija amiga.com, una mujerona que ahora, ahora entiendo de dónde viene todo ese talento. Gracias, Mira, gracias. Talento. Sí, tú sabes la historia, ya sé que está ahorita en muchas redes sociales. Me escondí porque tengo ocho bendiciones, uno que en paz descanse y dos enfermitos y una con cáncer que tenían. Y por eso yo como madre protejo a mis hijos, la fama no era importante para mí como la protección de mis hijos. Pero es increíble, este, Mirna, un mujerón como tú, viniendo de dos grandes, dos íconos del mundo, la televisión latinoamericana, mexicana, latinoamericana, o sea, en el mundo. Y eres una persona con un talento espectacular. Haz de cuenta que estás viendo a, a la señora, a la India María, pero ahora en jovencilla. <risa> <risa> y, y nueva, es la nueva, es la nueva, es la que lleva ahora el, 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 la, este, la batuta en este negocio. Y te deseo, y es un placer estar a tu lado, amiga.com. Es 
No, la verdad es un placer, me encantó conocerte porque eres un mujerón que tienes una energía maravillosa, eres un ser humano increíble, estoy enamorado de ella ya. Yo me caso, ya aunque estamos, aunque, a, 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 aunque le vaya al Puebla, me caso. <risa> además, además, let me tell you one thing. I mean, to meet Samira when I met Samira in the red carpet, Samira, because nobody introduced us. I saw you in the red carpet and, and, and I asked her, can I do an interview? And she says, yes, let's do it. And then she started talking about what she's doing and we fall in love together in the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> it was a match. You. We were like, like, a, like a match. Like a we click like this. Remember. Yes, that was great, and I'm very happy and I'm very honored to be part of this beautiful luxury viewing gala 2020 in the Universal Hilton this year. Este año el 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 view este el gala del Oscar en el Universal Studios Hilton, donde el próximo año va a estar a reventar esto porque esto es en grande, donde van a estar las grandes estrellas, tanto latinas como americanas y de todo el mundo. Obviamente, guiado por la señora Samira y su esposo, y aquí mi amigo Carlos también ya ahora, y mi amiga Mirna y un servidor, que vamos a estar allí apoyando a toda la raza latina y a toda la gente del mundo entero. Estoy fascinado y gracias. Thank you, Samira, por darme esta oportunidad de ser parte de este beautiful, beautiful big event. Y adoro a los latinos. Exactamente, la vieja adora a los latinos, imagínate. <laughs> You know, people don't, I don't know if they know, but 70% of Los Angeles is Latinos. Some of the biggest celebrities in the world are Latinos. So, <laughs> um, Latino J-Lo, Salma Hayek, tell me a few, tell me a few, Julia Iglesias. No, you're not. You got me now. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't, I'll, when I feel death, I will tell you I feel death. I don't feel death around you. No, I just feel people, I know you always have so many celebrities that adore you. We all love her, right? Don't we love her? So there's a lot of jealousy out there. But the thing is that there's people around you that you don't know who it is that are really close to you, that oh. are trying to hurt you. Yes. I mean, I we spotted a few of them, but... Some of them are here. Want to scar them? Yes. Yeah, and the thing is, most of us do. What can we do? You're asking yourself. All right? We clean your mouth like that, first of all. Uh -huh. Second of all, I want you guys to get scissors. You get scissors, you open them up, and tape them so they could stay open. I want you to pick up your mattress. When you go to sleep, that's the closest we are to death. So Satan and demonic spirits are there. You're going to go into your room, you're going to pick up your mattress, and you're going to put the scissors under your mattress, and that's going to ward off demonic spirits. You do get salt. Salt is one of our elements, okay? That's why half of the ocean, well, more than half of the world is made of water. Water has what? Sea. As ocean, I mean, has salt, so salt. So you're going to put salt. And it's in an electric carrier. Exactly. So you're going to put it around your house, protect it. And you could do it if you want to go one step further for protection, get a Bible. And you just talk about the Lord. You can see any, anything that comes to mind. You just talk about the Lord. And you're, and you're going around your house. And you're putting regular salt, salt. Regular salt. Iodine salt. You salt, know what the little umbrella? Salt. Yeah. And of course, what you, when you go to sleep, I know you could have a closet of shoes. But I want you to get your shoes when you go into your bed. I want you to face your shoes facing. Get them and face them outward. Okay. So no, no bad spirits can go where you're sleeping. Because have you seen people that just die in their, in their room? Most people, a lot of people die in their room, in their bed. Mm -hmm. We get into car accidents within five miles of our house. Why? Because that's where you rest. Have you guys, you guys heard of haunted houses, haunted places? When you go to sleep, you're, you're part of your soul. We're electric, we're electricity, we come out. And we start doing, I could show you how to do astral traveling. Oh, have, you, have you guys ever went to a place and said, Deja vu, I've been here before, but I've never been there before. Yes, when you go to sleep, your energy never sleeps. Like the sun, it just rotates around the earth. Mm -hmm. Same concept with us. So when you, put, when you lay your body down, it's like you're parking your car in the garage. Your body's laying down, and then you come out. So, okay. so it's very dangerous because anything else can go in there. 
So have the scissors, have the salt, and have... I mean, I'm uh, just just a lottery winner on Christmas. Do you know what works for me? You actually... You won half a million dollars on the the lottery the first time. She's won twice. I won twice. Oh, my goodness. Everybody in the audience wants to know how you won half a million dollars. (laughs) So now you're going to get... Have you guys ever watched Oprah, which I love you, and Stedman? You have to actually believe, because if you could think it in your thoughts, you could hold it in your hands. I used to make a list of what I was going to buy with the lottery money. And then I said, God, I'm planting my seed. You got to do good. Do good deeds. Good thoughts, good deeds. You guys watch Bohemian Rhapsody, Queen? <laughs> that was it. So once you put it out there, you actually could call it. And always, let me tell you a story really quick. There was this lady in, in, let's say, Victorville, California, where I live at, and she was telling everybody, there's going to be a party Saturday at my house. I'm going to win the lottery. She told everybody. She invited me, my neighbors, everyone. We all went with cake and beer and everything, and then we're there, and she didn't want to come out of her room. She didn't win. And then everyone left. She was embarrassed. She came out to her, to her living room, and she said, God, why didn't I win? And God said, you got to buy a ticket. So you're not going to win. you got to help me. You're not going to win if you don't play, okay? So you got to play. But you got to actually... <laughs> you gotta play one dollar. That's all it takes. People are asking when I, when I buy yeah twice. Tell him. Thank you. Hey, why don't you sell it? Why don't you sell him your unicorn? Why don't you sell him your unicorn? <laughs> tell him you're a unicorn. He was he was into the story. Right? You're funny. Yeah, but the thing is, so if you put, if you really hold it in your thoughts, it's gonna happen. I was giving this example earlier to Bobby De Leon, Frank Pinnock, and James Mercado. Uh, we're coming out with the show, like you gave a plug <laughs> to you. I'm giving a plug to um, the show, Mirna Velasco show, Prime TV, hopefully, channel I 7. I have a radio show, it's mirna.com. Hello. Uh, 87.7 <laughs> FM, you can find us on TuneIn Radio. But there's a, pretend I bought some stilettos, say seven inches. And I look at them, I say, man, with this dress, I will look hot. Second day, I go like, you know what, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall with those heels. I'm not going to put them on. Then I'm wearing a nice pencil skirt. Oh, man, I'll look beautiful with those. Oh, man. No, Mirna, you're going to fall on your ass. No. Then the third day, I put them on. Pacatelas. I fall on my ass. And I said, I knew. And no, I didn't know it. I made it happen. If we're all made in the image of God, we all have that power. That's why none of us are the same. But we all have power. Mm -hmm. So be careful. So you believe you could win. Why not? Why not you? I'm not better than you. You guys are better because you're like, taka, taka, taka. look at you guys <laughs> relaxing, having a good time over there. So it's mind, body, and it's mind, body, and soul. Yes. Mind, body, and soul. That's yes. Right. So what do you think? Do you believe in all this, Mr. Punto yes, com? I do, I do, I do. Me encantó. Oye, qué, qué, qué maravilla eres de mujer, amiga.com. Además, todo ese conocimiento de las cartas y en todo. Eres como muy uh, este, visionaria. Todo lo ves a través de tu de tu este uh, sí tu sí. tercer ojo amiga.com tengo mis, mis chakras abiertas soy vivo en el mundo pero no soy del mundo soy de nuestro padre pero no soy religiosa no creo en religión organizada sorry but I don't porque nomás te da miedo la gente te mete miedo okay. yo estoy directamente con mi creador That's nuestro great. creador y es todo y cuando tú yo a mí me encanta leer no estoy ay espero que me gane la lotería quiero ganar un carro quiero una casita no yo me mejoro porque leyendo estudiando te puedes superar it's not I don't just wish oh I wish I had money I wish I had a nice car I wish I had this I have all of that because I made myself better don't wish gas was cheaper mortgage was cheaper <laughs> wish that you could make more ¿Sí o no? Wait, wait. Eso me encanta. ¿Cómo ves la visión de este evento? Este evento, mira, porque yo conozco a Samira, su, su energía. I know everybody here. What a, what a winning team. You guys should get married. <laughs> Made of honor. I just put it out there. Hello. <laughs> Aren't they a cute couple? Hello. Hello. <laughs> you know, the thing is that I know their energy. I was blessed enough to be there 2019, mijo. And I even, I even went on your show and I invited you. Oh. But of course, you had another big event that was sold out too. But it's going to be amazing because look who's here. Hello, the tres amigos. <laughs> Gracias, yeah. mi amor, hermosa. Que yeah, Dios te bendiga gracias, y te colme de bendiciones y sigas así de bellísima y elegante gracias, y abierta con el mundo entero porque eso te va a dar muchas bendiciones. Gracias. I gracias, have an Carmen. idea. Between us and maybe one more person, we can do a 24-hour show. We have 
We could we could talk. We we could talk about health, beauty. We have so much gas between the radio show, the TV show, the radio show, and all the celebrities. So. We have to have some music in between. Yeah, <laughs> we have yeah, to have some music, some yes. So for next week, thank you for watching Samira's show. And we're so excited. We're going to do this every week, right? Yeah, yeah thank you. Bye. Yes, thank you. Mwah.